Right guys, um, today I'm going to start something fresh, so uh, basically I'll film the uh, film the unboxing and this one is a tree Hyrax, so quite a small box, I am envisaging some smallish bones in here, um, so there we go, sternum and ribs, so quite small. One of the feet, so that's a nice tiny bones in there. Front foot, so to put these in scale against a fingernail, and I've got small hands, but yeah, these are quite tiny. Um, so we've got there another front foot, so it's two fronts, pelvis and sacrum. Claws, nails, mystery bag, which is the end plates for the spine. So I'm guessing this is a juvenile. So they're the epiphyseal plates. So as soon as I get the spine, I can see the the, the vertebrae of all. They've got no ends on, so basically I'm going to have to sit and puzzle the ends first before I can start building it. So here we've got the long bones. Um, these are quite quite small, as you can see, kneecaps kneecaps and long bones so I should have another foot that's the other rear foot and a tiny skull I will check when I do this but there's a there's a tooth missing on this skull on this side but I think it looks like it's been missing in life so if you can see a, a hole, then the tooth's dropped out. If it's lost the tooth during during its life, then the the bone, as that one is, fuses back over. So you you know that there's no tooth that's just dropped out in the packaging. So that's this one unboxed. The checklist is apparently correct. I'm assuming that. Um, a tree hyrax would be uh, something that would have a prehensile tail. I'm only guessing that. I've not googled this animal to find out much about it just yet, but um, I'm guessing that the the tail bones will be in here if there are any, uh, or maybe it's just got a very short tail. I, that's something that I'll look at because I'll be googling the animal and watching I watch YouTube videos of animals so when I choose my poses what I do is uh, go google the animal find a bit about them and then go on YouTube and try and watch footage of the animal moving and the behavior as much as you can I mean sometimes it's quite limited but if you if you look on YouTube you can usually get a bit of information that will help you choose a nice position for the animal uh, and also by watching how they move and you can re-watch and re-watch and rewind if there's a particular bit that you want and then you can always screenshot as well if you pause the video and screenshot and then you can print that out and draw the line of where the bones are, are going to sit if there's a particular position that you like the look of. Alright guys, well I'm going to start and lay this one out and uh, puzzle it together. Thanks for watching.